Hi guys, Dorota Palitska International, new artist and educator here, and I'm in with Carly. We are going to do infill on her nails. I have left three nails, and uh, we are going to remove those Christmas set of the nails. Uh, so I'm using the... Actually, I'm loving this uh, e-file. Uh, I was doing the review in some other videos, and since then, I'm actually using it in the salon, because uh, it's so nice and quiet, you cannot hear it. Now, Carly is quite a difficult uh, client, uh, because she keeps her hands really stiff. You can see it, what is happening there. So I will be trying to work around here, and I hope we can produce a nice, nice rebound. You can see the growth on her nails is really decent as she had them in for a while. So we're removing the old color. I don't have to remove a lot on this nail because we will apply just a baby boomer over it. But on the other hand, I have to file it quite a lot because we want to put those glitter in there and then do baby boomer over it. So it's quite nice and pretty set, not over the top, something what Carly like, like because she doesn't want she doesn't like the nails which are over the top. She likes the subtle look and, and and things which looks nice and pretty and goes with everything. And that's what I'm going to uh, show you today. So here we need to remove it a little bit more of the gel, just so we can squeeze in that sparkly bits and pieces. And I think this set looks nice, like, and it's not over the top. So just remove it. If there would be any lifting, you have to always get rid of any lifting. It's actually not bad, they're quite good. Let me take a little, tiny bit more. Remember, never file too long in one place because you can uh, produce a hit fraction on your client's nails and that wouldn't be nice. Okay, next step, we need to push back her cuticles and her cuticles have been actually um, <laughs> not the nicest today no, not <laughs> uh, like because even her fingers are quite uh, peeling on the sides so uh, we are going to push back her cuticles you can see it also there's a bit of redness around it as well so like she have been quite sensitive uh, you can see there is a cuticle on the nail plate and we always have to get rid of that. Now push back the cuticles on the other hand because otherwise the nails would lift. So push them and then push this hand out. Using the cuticle bit we are going to remove anything what is on the nail plate. You cannot hear this nail bit, like this file, like at all. <laughs> it's Isn't really it? Quiet. It's really no. quiet compared to the other one. So let's clean up all this cuticle which is there and then do the same on the other hand. Put it back into the reverse. And clean this side. This side had quite a lot, so I'm just making sure we do really clean it properly. And the other hand. So you will be seeing me moving Carly hand like every single step. <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah, so she's my client, which I just need to reposition with every single nail. <laughs> okay, remove any dust which is on it and trim the cuticle, but just a little bit so it's not overdone. Here we are. You can see there is quite a lot of dryness here. I'm just getting rid of those raggy bits and pieces. And do the same on the other hand.
Okay, after this step, we have to blend the old product with the natural meal and fill the growth gap and decorate it with the glitter. So I'm using the file to correct the shape of the nail. Then blend everything around this area. Because they are a natural nails, I'm trying to lift them up a little bit as well, because eventually the natural nails tend to grow down um, a little bit. So I'm just trying to straighten it and lift it up by filing from underneath. We remove the bits and pieces of the glitter. Make sure you have no shiny places left. Clean it, use the blue scrub and we can apply the gel on this one. Do the same on the other hand. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So reshape the nail. Lift it up a little bit. Blend it with the natural nail. Do the same on the other one. And then once you're happy, give it a final check. And clean with the blue scrub as well. Wait for it to dry, apply an extra nail crepe. And do the same on the other hand and then wait for it to dry and universal air bonds and the other hand we are going to use the milky pink gel because that's the one which is the easiest one to blend for a baby boomer Just keep yeah, the hand there all the time. Thank you. So I'm picking up a nice scoop. And just massage that into the nail plate. Make sure you cut the free edge. And then pick up another scoop of the product. To move the apex. Get rid of those glitter particle. And then cure it. Do the same on the other hand, but on the other hand, that's why I left those two nails so you can guys see it. We are going to encapsulate some glitter flakes. So nice and thin layer. Nice and thin layer. Then tiny bit on the apex, so not too much, just a wee tiny bit, because we need to squeeze those glitter in there. And then let's apply the glitter. So I'm going to use the mixture of the glitters, like uh, all sorts of different ones. And we want to put it about halfway through the natural nail. There is no need of putting it uh, right at the free edge because we are going to cover the free edge 
with some baby boomer. Uh, those glitter encapsulation sets are always quite nice, quick and easy ones. Thank you, Carly. <laughs> and then I'm putting a smaller flakes. Um, they are quite delicate. Now, because I've got such a small amount of the product in there, I am not worried about it running everywhere. Then using the gel sponge, we are going to flatten those particles. So just touch it to flatten it up like this. Like make sure you don't bring the product into the nail folds. Okay, this is just a loose glitter. Don't go too low with the glitter. If you do, just remove it with your sponge because then later on when you file it, you can file through it. Perfect. Now let's uh, freeze it. Okay, and then once it's freezed, we are going to put a crystal one gel to cure it. So I take the top hand. So nice scoop, nice and thin. Apply it everywhere. Nice and thin. If you've got um, loose glitter particles, you can just wipe them off and uh, clear it on your on your wipe. Do the same on the other hand. Uh, not on the hand, other nail. Nice and thin around the cuticle area. Remove those lexes of any loose particles. And then let's fill up the apex area on both of those nails. Well, just a very small amount of the product where we miss. Not much more on the free edge. And then the same in here. This gel is quite nice and watery, so I like it for a glitter encapsulation because you've got less filing when you put it on. Perfect change. Okay, now let's shape this nail and do those baby boomer. So we have to remove the inhibition layer. I'm also going to clean this nail because it got dusty. <laughs> and then file it. So we are going to shape one side, other side. Reshape it, blend everything around the cuticle area. So I'm working as much as possible to improve the shape, especially as we are working on the natural nails and natural nails are quite hard to achieve a perfect shape, to be honest. Uh, there is always some sort of imperfection. Now working around the cuticle area on Carly means you have to be extremely careful. Perfect, now take the buffer and just buff it. Don't go too close to the cuticle, so I'm just buffing the entire surface of the nail. Free edge, then swap the buffer. Clean everything on the sides. Blend around the cuticle area. Okay, we also have to clean this cuticle area as well. I can do that now after all the filing is done. I wouldn't attempt to do it anything more before the filing because it could end up as a wee disaster. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I'm using just like a um, buffing bit just to buff out those raggy bits and pieces very gently. her skin is peeling even underneath of her fingers like <laughs> winter months
Okay, get rid of some peeling from underneath as well. I'm just doing it nice and slowly. And that would be enough. I would just have to trim it. And then this meal is ready for a baby boomer. Okay, going kind of think more my result in trauma. So I'm happy with that. Clean, clean the dust around it and then do the same on the other hand. So we have to remove the inhibition layer. I need to clean them all like we need to wash our hands afterwards because <laughs> they are so dusty so now. Dusty. Yeah. So let me get curly hand nice into place there we are and then shape it one side sorry perfect thank you so one side other side check underneath blend everything around the cuticle area again extremely carefully So Carly's fingers don't bend. <laughs> you have to just twist the entire hand. <laughs> but she is really a lovely client. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Always fun doing your nails. Oh. No, I wish my fingers like were a bit more. It's okay. Bendy. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, fan out the free edge. And this one almost ready. Do the same in here. So I need to sometimes reposition uh, kind of the hand just so I can see it where to file. Otherwise, you're kind of getting a fake picture of of the shape of the nail. And I do. I think this is my biggest struggle, to be honest, because when I cannot twist it the other way, like there is no chance I can twist her <laughs> finger, like it would just break off. Uh, so I have to help it with the entire hand. And this way I'm kind of losing where we're shaping. So um, in a case when you've got a client like this, I do suggest you do really go and check once or sometimes like the shape from the uh, uh, other side as well. Otherwise you can, it's quite difficult to shape, um, to shape those kind of nails. At least for me, like, because uh, I like my things to be, I don't know, nice and straight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this glitter is smoothed out as well, so let's do use the buffer. Buff it only in the middle first. Don't go near the folds or don't go near, near the cuticles. Because it's a really sharp buffer. Do the same on this one. And then using the other buffer, we are going to smooth out those nails. Blend that side. Mm. 
near the cuticle do the other side and then do the same on the other one look how i'm pulling down her new folds to don't risking like going over them with the buffer No, I've got a loose particle of the glitter. Remove it. There we are. You don't want that because that's cute. Look, not neat. Okay, that's me happy with it. So what we can do it is remove the dust, clean up the cuticle area. And then we can do the baby boomer on the entire set. Again, I'm not going to go too excessively because her skin is quite sensitive in this month. Winter, the joys of the winter. Oh, no, it's so like dry just now. We will get you some cuticle oil to work. <laughs> okay, buff up those dry bits and pieces on the what is needed thank you I'm in a hole in a glove <laughs> your nice nail coming today I can't remember when I had such a blinny set. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's so lovely. nice for a change, isn't Definitely. it? Definitely. Perfect for New Year. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Okay, so let's clean this one, clean the other one, and then do the baby boomer. We'll have to wash those hands to take a nice thumbnail picture. I love how the glitter show up once <laughs> it's so nice. wet, isn't That's it? So Absolutely. Okay, so French gel, the white one, and we take the right hand to apply this in. So first layer, I'm just applying it kind of messy, just like this, slap it on. Oh, it's not in the camera. We are Sorry. not in the camera. Oh, oh. here, there we are. So just slap it in and on the other hand, the same. Just, there we are. Just slap it in. Thank you. I'm actually glad Carly finds some time for us today so we could do <laughs> a bit of recording. Thank you so much for that. Oh, not at all. And what I'm doing is with this sponge, we are going to blend this color. Now, pull those nail folds down and use the clean part of the sponge so you don't go over the nail folds, especially when you're working on the natural nails and when they sh when they kind of normal. I would still call them medium length, uh, medium to short length. Um, there we are. Cook it in. Perfect. Thank you. And uh, I think we are also recording on... Sorry, Sorry. <laughs> we also recording on Carly because you guys asked me about those uh, more of those natural news videos uh, and here they are just so you can enjoy it and sponge technique honestly guys you need to oh she says you need to learn because it's awesome technique um because quite often you ask me like how you do get into the sides if your nails are shorter so this is a clean part of the sponge touch with the clean part of the sponge and then just brush it in. 
that looks pretty already perfect change now next one i want a bit more pigmented so i'm doing a almost like a messy french look uh, i call it and then i'm just blending this out nothing else only this part and then change it we should cure it a little bit longer so normally <laughs> you know it takes like some time to do it five but <laughs> one actually doesn't take any time um, so they might be a little bit uncured. I'm going to be working very carefully with it to don't take off the the product which we already apply it and there. Okay, so sorry. Blend it. Yeah, so what I can see it, I'm also removing the product which I already apply in there because it's not cured properly. Change. Since I have two, this one is ready. So now I'm not picking up any more gel. I'm using the one which I already got in here just to finish it off. You could see there was a fluff coming out. Remove it on the form. You don't want that fluff going on someone else. And then keep just smoothing out and blending it. And that's me happy with this new perfect change. And then do the same in here. So we don't want to go too high because we've got those pretty glitter there. Remove those fluff. And then do the same on this one. Remove the fluff. I'm going to add one touch more on this one because I'm not happy with the end of it. Touch, touch, touch. And that's me happy now. Change. And then it's the time for a top coat and that's our set finished <laughs> i hope guys you have really enjoyed this video with carly today so top coat and cap those free edge especially when we're working with the natural nail like you really need to cap those free edge And change your hand. Fantastic, thank you. And look at this glitter showing up. I love it. It's not over the top, it's so subtle look like which will go with absolutely anything what Carly will wear. She's got actually a very nice blush pink <laughs> jumper today. today. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Oh no, it looks lovely. I can see the glitter coming through. Uh -huh. It's really nice. Very subtle and delicate. Okay, so let's cook them in and then I can show you final results. Uh, cure it? Oh, okay, so that's them all cooked. I will take this one. We can clean it, apply the cuticle oil. Then wash the hands and do a nice thumbnail picture. Uh, so that's this hand done. And the other one actually as well. Um, so I have to do the same. I hope guys you have really enjoyed it. We're sending you both big glittery hugs. And bye for now. <laughs>